didn't choose Zambia, as I always say, it's Zambia who chose us. It's not like a light bulb went up and I was inspired to do it or there was any kind of particular motivation, but it was more a responsive reaction to what I saw on site in the impoverished areas of Lusaka. Of course, we had to legalize the entity and that's when the Other Side Foundation was chartered. The Other Side Foundation is a non-profit that empowers the needy through education, nutrition, and healthcare. To enable our single mothers to fend for their families and to put food on the table, we provide evening adult education classes and also vocational training for these ladies. For our grandmothers who have no source of income, who live on church rations and caring for five to seven often grandchildren, they receive food hampers from us from time to time and when the cold winters are approaching we provide them with blankets, clothes, shoes and warm clothing for the children. The Other Side Foundation has been very fortunate. We have well-wishers and friends who give us sporadic donations which is a great help. The biggest challenge that we had and we are still facing is the distance. Not being on site physically poses a problem when we want to effectively help in emergencies of the staff or the students. Today, we are electronically linked and in fact, I communicate with the staff practically on a daily basis. And something that was pretty new to us was being frontline. Though we have been uh, working as expatriates in management level in MNCs in Africa before, being frontline now, you have to be hands-on. So here we are constantly exposed to the local culture, the local style of management, where we had to adapt and learn. High inflation is actually another challenge that we constantly face because staff salaries are affected, operational costs keep going up and the buying power of the people is affected. Also when local authorities impose unjustified uh, regulations on us, this does not facilitate the grassroots intervention and approach that we do in the impoverished areas. My family has been very supportive and my spouse, Denis, believes that retirement is all about living your passion in a laid-back manner. And I am living my passion. Our long-term goals would be to reduce poverty, ensure that every child is schooled and receives primary education, and to promote gender equality. Though funding is a major component, we still need IT support, public relations and uh, project proposal writing are equally important for us to have a more effective outreach. <laughs>